Okay, today's lesson we're going to look at loci. Before doing this lesson, um, it's very important that you've got your equipment. You're going to need your compass and pencil. You're going to need a ruler. And um, that should be all the equipment you need. Um, you may need a protractor, but probably you're going to be using your compass and pencil instead. Okay? Um, and a rubber. Um, in this video, it's very important that you're extremely accurate. In the first little section where I recap the different types of loci um, rules that you may follow, I'm just doing quick sketches, but then I'm really accurate in the later ones. Make sure whenever you're in these questions, you're really accurate with your constructions and your drawing. In this video, we're going to look at loci. In maths, the word loci means a position, a place, or a point. Um, so what you're going to be doing is you're going to be given certain questions and you've got to find the particular regions or points where um, the set of rules sort of define where it's going to have to be. So for instance, if I had a fixed point, just say a tree, and I said a man was standing three metres away from a tree, he could be anywhere on this circle. Okay. So if you've got a fixed distance from a point, you'll have a circle. Imagine I had two trees and I said that I was going to uh, put my sun lounger an equal distance between the two trees. Well, that could be in the middle, but it could be anywhere on the perpendicular bisector. So if you're ever given a question where it says um, something is equidistant or equidistant from two points, it would be on the perpendicular bisector. Okay, so let's consider a fixed distance from a, a line. So if I said find the possible position of points which are two centimeters from this line, you could do two meters or two centimeters above, two centimeters above, two centimeters above, and it would make this line above the line, and it'd be a straight line exactly two centimeters above the line, which would obviously be parallel to it. Obviously, below the line as well, you could have two centimeters below the line, like so, two centimeters below. Now at the end, it's now from a fixed point, so like the previous examples. So you would have a semicircle of radius 2 centimeters on either end, like so, a bit like a running track. Okay, so this would have 2 centimeters above, 2 centimeters above, 2 centimeters above, 2 centimeters above, radius of 2 centimeters from the end of the line to a straight line, and then again another um, semicircle of radius 2 centimeters from the end of the line. Finally, if we were to consider the locus of points which are equidistant from two joining lines, like so, or an angle, uh, what you would get then would be the angle bisector. For instance, if it was equidistant from this line and this line, it would be in the middle, in the middle, in the middle, in the middle, and so on. So you'd use your compass and construct the angle bisector. Make sure you watch that video as well, that video and the perpendicular video before the, doing this lesson. So you'd have this angle bisector exactly in the middle. So let's have a look at some typical exam questions. So let's have a look at our first exam question. So here we've got an L shape and we've been asked to draw the locus of all points that are 2 centimeters from this L shape. So um, with the straight lines you're going to have 2 centimeters above like so and 2 centimeters above like so. Uh, and then obviously with this line as well you'd have 2 centimeters above and 2 centimeters to the side or to the left and to the side. At the end of the line you're then going to have your semicircle which uh, which has a radius of 2 centimeters. So let's construct that now. Okay, let's start off by doing the straight line. So get your pencil and your ruler and measure 2 centimeters from the line. And do this several times. and go right up to the end of the line. Okay, so that's above the line. Let's now do below the line. And once you do it, just make sure that your line's gonna be nice and straight, exactly two centimeters. Obviously at this point here we're going to have another semi or a bit of a quarter circle going right here. So it would be a quarter circle from here to here. And then the line again, a semicircle here.
you're going to need to be careful here okay so what you're going to have is you're going to have a the line coming in here and the line coming here and where they will cross will be then you can rub out the extra bit okay so let's get started so let's draw this straight line and let's just be careful here it's going to stop there okay and then draw this straight line And again, it's going to stop there. Then you're going to have your semicircle. And here again, you're going to have your quarter circle. And there, your quarter circle. And there, your semicircle. Okay. Now, next part, get your compass and your pencil, and you're going to set it to exactly two centimeters. Now you've got to be very accurate with this. Perfect. I get it joins up, that's good. Perfect. 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 Okay. Um, obviously, be a little bit more accurate than myself. It might be actually worthwhile setting your protractor on the point there and the pencil there. Um, it's just a bit hard whenever you're filming it to get absolutely perfect. But as you can see, all these uh, points here, anywhere in this shape we have constructed, is exactly two centimeters from the line. Okay. If if the question said within two centimeters from the line, you would shade this part here. Okay, and that would be the bit that's so the the possible position of points that are within or the locus of all points within two centimeters from the line. But the line itself shows you exactly two centimeters from this L shape. 